Hey guys, we're back again with another project. Today's project is my 2005 Chevy Tahoe 5.3 liter. We're going to do a little bit of an experiment today, and I'm calling this an experiment because I've seen some videos and some comments going back and forth about relocating the knock sensors over to the side of the block or the side of the heads. So I've got a knock sensor code. I do not want to pull my entire manifold, intake manifold off and um, replace them. So uh, we're going to try an experiment, and I say experiment, of moving them over to the sides. I'm going to put one, as you can see, right there in that threaded hole in the front of the head on the passenger side of the vehicle. Take another one. And if I can get my camera angle right, you can see it right down there uh, in the threaded hole in the side of the head um, next to the spark plug area there. So I've seen some different uh, comments and questions on these. Some people uh, that have done it, they've relocated it, their code didn't come back, and they haven't had any problems with the way their vehicle runs. I don't have a problem with the way my vehicle runs as it is right now. Uh, I've got a code for the knock sensor. Um, I got a check engine light on. My car's mileage hasn't changed. The power hasn't changed. Nothing has changed. So um, I saw some things on here that this isn't the right way to do it and do it right, take off the manifold, etc., etc. I really don't want to spend the time doing that. So I'm going to try this first and I'm going to see how this works. And if it doesn't work, guess what? I can do this over and I can do it right or I can do it the proper way. Uh, as most of us know, they did change the knock sensors and take them out of that valley between the cylinders on the, uh, below the intake and put them on the side of the block in later models. But on this one, they made it nice and fun for us to take the entire intake off. And uh, depending on who you talk to or, or whose video you watch, uh, it, it's an easy project, takes a couple hours. Um, for mechanics that are experienced in doing this, if you've never done it before, probably going to take you, probably take me about half the day because I would take my time and, and do it very slowly um, just to make sure I didn't break anything or do anything uh, wrong. And like I said, I bought two brand new AC Delco um, knock sensors. Uh, I bought a brand new wiring harness and I'm going to try this experiment. And if it doesn't work, I can do it uh, the old fashioned way and put them where they're supposed to be. So, um, I'm going to give this a shot. I'm going to clear the codes and drive it around and see what it does. And if it works for me, it works for me. If it doesn't, then I'll do it the right way. So don't bother commenting on this is the wrong way and it's not going to work right and all that stuff. I've done my research. I've looked at it. Um, and like I said, that's why I'm calling this an experiment, uh, not a permanent fix. I don't have a leak in my intake manifold, which uh, we all know if we have Chevys uh, with these LS motors, uh, a lot of intake manifold leaks don't have one. So really not in the mood to uh, change intake gaskets unless it's absolutely necessary. But uh, this is a 13-year-old vehicle with about 150,000 miles on it. So if I relocate the knock sensors and it works and it drives just fine, it's really not going to hurt this vehicle. Um, so... There you have it, guys. I will uh, follow up this video, video uh, after I get done doing this and uh, drive around and experiment with it for a while, put a couple hundred miles on it, see what happens. I've seen uh, some videos posted where the code came back immediately. I've seen some videos where the guys say, hey, I've been driving my vehicle for two plus weeks, no codes, um, no change. So you know what? This is my turn to give it a shot, and we'll see how it works, and we'll follow up later. Bye.